Hey everybody, this is John with Active Self Protection. Today, a little something special. I'm at a class and a bunch of crazy stuff went wrong. And so today you're gonna get a couple of ASP classics to kinda, that you've never seen on YouTube that were back in the old country from our Facebook page to kinda show you what the way that it used to be while I get home from this class in Colorado. See you guys soon. Ammo is crazy expensive and hard to find and dry fire is life. I use the Mantis X10 to keep my handgun skills strong and it makes dry practice fun and challenging. Check it out at the link below. This video shows us the need to be aware, it shows us the need for marksmanship, and it shows us that you need to keep your head on a swivel at all times. This happens out of Brazil. You can see that uh, it's back in February of 2012, and this guy on the left is an off-duty police officer. And, and it's just a normal day in a convenience store until this guy walks in with a knife in his right hand. The cop here, you can see, he doesn't mind that. He looks at the guy, guy doesn't drop the knife, and he drops him. Puts one in his chest, and now he stops the fight, and I think there's some interesting stuff for us to learn here. And, and you can see him starting to follow up and he, he's hanging out there and saying, okay, I want everybody to get around. And you notice that this guy is not dead. He's not incapacitated uh, with exsanguination or a neural stop. This is a psychological stop, but that's still a stop. All right, so let's go back and take a look at what we learn here. Number one, we see that this officer has situational awareness. You see that he's looking, he's seeing out of his right eye there. He's got his head around and he's seeing what's going on around him. That's incredibly important. That gives him the ability to look at the guy's right hand and see he has a knife. And when he does, do you notice he moves and he draws? He moves back, he gets himself some space. That gives him the time to get his gun out and in the fight. And he's got it beaded down on that guy with a good backstop. That's incredibly important. Great awareness. Now then, we see very slowly the guy comes around and I want you to see his the firearm dips when he shoots it. So he, he aims high center chest and he doesn't get him high center chest because of that anticipation, but it still works. Next, you notice that he disarms. So here this guy is and he's put the knife down and the cop has walked up and stuck his foot on the knife and gotten away from it. It's very, very wise. He gets the weapon away from him so that he is not a threat anymore. And I also want you to notice this guy over here, he's, you know, scraping his change off the counter. My goodness, leave your stupid change and get the heck out of there. That's ridiculous. And, and also, again, I want to notice this is not a stop that is a, a neurological stop, so he hasn't had his brain case shut down. This is an exsanguination stop. He hasn't died of blood loss. This is a psychological stop, but the cop stopped when he should have. He popped him once, when the and, and he could have popped him two, three, four times, I think, and been okay. But at one time, the guy went down. There was no more need to shoot, and so he didn't. And a psychological stop is perfectly good. So once again, what do we learn in this encounter? Like we learned so many times that we see that, that situational awareness is king. Number two, we see that good marksmanship matters. Number three, we see that you shoot to stop the threat. And once the threat is stopped, it's over. And number four, we see you got to take good follow-up actions. And that will help you cover your ASP.